The Mets are around 60 million below the competitive balance tax. So can you guys lay out exactly how you would spend that 60 million dollars? Anthony Recker, we'll start with you. Yeah, I, I think this is, I, I'm not going to say it's simple, but look, when you start to think about these, some of these things, I would make a couple moves a little bit different if I could move some pieces, trade a couple away. But under the format we're given with just $60 million straight away, I'm definitely signing McCann behind there as my catcher. I'm putting George Springer out there in center field. I really like Jackie Bradley Jr. And if we can, you know, move some money around and bring in a Trevor Bauer, I would put JBJ out in center field, no problem. But since we're not, I'm worried more about the depth of this team and making sure we have all those slots filled so I'm, I'm going after two more starting pitchers at least you know look high upside type guys guys that have done better in the past Walker looked really good last year Kluber if he can be healthy uh, Kirby Yates has had a great career up until the last couple years with some injuries and some problems but Kike Hernandez I just love his versatility and what he brings to the, the roster Trevor Bauer is my number one Met target this offseason I know the AAV is going to be big maybe upwards of 30 million dollars a year but I think it's worth it to have him be at the top of a rotation with Jacob deGrom that would really strike fear into potential playoff opponents. Now, and I think there's plenty of work they can do beyond that. Sign McCann for the, to be the backstop and then look at Jackie Bradley Jr. as the center fielder. That would solve their defensive issues at that position. And he can also he's also got a little pop there. And then you sort of move around with the pitching a little bit. I picked John Lester as a potential target because teams are going to have to wallpaper their staffs this year with guys who can gobble up innings. We don't know what the weird season and the stopping and the starting with summer camp, what that kind of effect is going to be on pitchers. We don't know for sure yet. So you better have the guys who can deliver the innings. I'm not as quantitative in terms of my targets as maybe the other guys are here because, you know, you mentioned Gamble, for example, with a guy like Kirby Yates. You know, John Lester, I get it. He's not what he used to be. Jackie Bradley Jr., for example. Yeah, he's a great defensive center fielder, but I don't know if that batter's reliable enough. Certainly not like a George Springer. That's the number one target for me. Guy's a proven player. He's a World Series MVP. You saw what he did in the postseason this past year again for the Houston Astros. This Mets team is going to be put together to play in October, not just compete for, you know, a 500 record, maybe sneak into the postseason. Jake Odorizzi is a guy, okay, he hasn't had arm issues. The injury bug that plagued him last year, I think that'll sort itself out. Plus bring him to the National League for the first time, I think can maybe up his performance as well. We already talked about James McCann. He seems like the likely target behind the plate. And yeah, I know that the Mets already brought in Trevor May here for the bullpen and yes I know he's a right-hander but Liam Hendricks might be the best reliever on this market right now the guy is nasty this would give the Mets a super bullpen that you can rely on